In this video, I just want to show you quickly how to generate some AI content and have it create individual records uh, in Airtable. So I needed something to be able to add to Airtable uh, records that, you know, without having to manually copy and paste or import stuff, I just wanted to quickly generate some stuff on the fly. And so I hooked this up to a workflow here. And so I can come in here and say, can you make, uh, you know, five uh, winter themed events? And it's gonna hit the AI agent, it's gonna hit the AI model with OpenAI, and it's gonna structure that data and create five different events. And I can see here it says five items, and I can see five items have been added to my Airtable. So I can see the, uh, the data here, I can see I have five outputs, right? And then it split those and added each one to my Airtable. So if I go back to my Airtable, I can see here are my winter themed events, right? So. Uh, I can use this to create stuff sort of on the fly and directly add it to Airtable without a bunch of manually copy and pasting or importing or anything like that. So I can come back and say, can you make uh, 10 fall themed events? And it's going to take that same instruction. It's going to go hit the AI model. It's going to create 10 different events. So this might take a little bit longer uh, than the five events, but it's going to be pretty quick. And it's done, you know, it's it's now adding those records to Airtable. I can see them getting added here. And now we have 15 events. So here are our fall themed events uh, between there. All right, so let's just, uh, let's just rebuild this real quick and I'll show you kind of what I was doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete everything. And what we're using here is just a chat trigger, right? So I'm just gonna say on chat message, that's gonna be our trigger. And that gives us an, a, you know, an embeddable chat, something we can click here and chat with, right? And so after that, we, we can add um, an AI agent, right? So, because we want it to be able to process data. And just like that, we, we have what we need. We're just gonna connect a quick AI model to it. Right? We're gonna use 4.0 mini. And I'm just gonna use buffer memory here because it's very simple. And then we can choose what tool we want. And you know you can hook up uh, the Airtable here to the tool and you can have it read and write directly in your Airtable, but we're gonna do things a little bit differently. And I'm not gonna use a tool at all, actually. Um, I'm going to just add a structured data input. So if we just, if we like go to, I'll just add the Airtable here and we're gonna create or update a record. So upsert and I'll choose my, my credentials and I'll choose from my bases. We want to do the events base, right? And I'll choose the event table. So these, these tables here um, match to what's at, what we saw in Airtable. So if I click this again, let's see, artist, venue, city, state. So we have artist, venue, city, state. So I'm on the events tab of that and we want to select that. So um, you can do, you can try doing map automatically. I'm just going to select um, select this uh, map manually so that we can drag the fields in. So I'll just start by saying, can you create five winter events? And it's probably going to fail because it doesn't really know all the different parameters we need yet. So uh, we'll see what it does. It's going to make, looks like it made one item. So I can click here. And we can see here it's created an ID. It has a created time, but it has no fields mapped to it yet. And what we'll notice first here is like the AI output is like, sure, here are five winter themed events. And then it lists the events, but we, it's not really structured in a way that's usable for us yet. So we need to kind of tell the output from the AI model what we want it to do. So what I'll do is go back to the AI agent and I'll click on that. And I could say, uh, require specific output format, okay? And so this will let us connect an output parser and that'll let us structure our data. So instead of just a single output field, we can get the title, the description, the start time from each of the events, okay? So the way we'll do that is if I click out here and now our AI agent has another node here called output parser. So I'll, I'll click that, click that. And I'll click structured output parser because we want to return it in a defined JSON format. So it's a predictable and streamlined way of getting each field that we need. And so here there's a sample 
and it says state and cities, and that's not really what we want. We actually want to actually do stuff like the event title, right? And I can give it a little thing here, event title. And same here. And these this doesn't really matter what you title it. You just kind of want to be descriptive here. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll kind of go through that in a minute. Description. Description. If I could type. Of event. And again, I'm just doing this in JSON format. So everything's in quotes and followed by a comma, except for the very last item. So, so start time. Right. And then we'll define that as start time of event and one last comma and we'll do end end time event end time all right and so i won't leave a comma if you do put a comma it'll tell you hey it's wrong delete that all right so we have our structured output data so now when i come back in here you can say uh can you make five uh summer themed events and we'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to create the item and it will give us an output. We, and part of this is like, I wanted to show you, you kind of, when you build these out, you kind of just do trial and error and, and sort of debug as you go. Um, we can see it was successful, but it, it hasn't made five records. It's made one. All right. So if I look at the air table um, again, it doesn't have any of the fields mapped. Right. So I could come over here and, and map these in, right. I could drag the title. Oh, actually I didn't want that. Um, I wanted the name to be the event name and the description to be the event description and the start time to be the start time and the end time to be the end time. All right. And these match up to my, my fields here. I've got name, description, start time, etc. So now when we run this, so can you make five, uh, winter themed events and we'll see the other problem that we run into is it'll likely just give me the first item in the list instead of all of the different items you can see here it says one item even though I asked for five so we have our structured output correct but when it gets to here it is it is working so it's added winter wonderland festival there it is at the bottom we can see the two blanks here that we added before I'm just going to go ahead and delete these all so that we have some fresh data to look at going forward. Um, but the problem is that it's only outputting the one of the pieces of one of the outputs, basically, even though we have five, right? So if I come back to my AI agent, I can see, um, you know, it's just created that one event. So what we also want to do is add something called a split out function, and that will basically let us um, output a single output for each item in the in the list. So I can just do split and it'll turn, you know, it turns a list item into separate individual items. So we can drag the output into the fields that we want to split out. And that should give us what we need. Um, and we'll see again what happens when I when I do this. So um, I should be able to just can I just copy that reuse message? Yeah. So I can copy that reuse the message. And hopefully what will happen is it will output five items and you can see it's taking a little longer. So it's probably getting all the different items and it's taking a little bit longer. So it's done four items. It looks like, but they're all blank. So the other problem is once we added the split out node, we need to come back into our air table node and we can see it's everything's in red, right? So the problem is that it's only getting one, the outputs uh, and we need to get each individual one. So what we can do is actually come back to our structured output. And what we want to do is change this into an array. So I can just do comma and then copy and paste that and then put um, brackets on the front and back. All right. Make sure you have a comma between your list items. And so now it'll, it, the structured output data is for, multiple outputs rather than a single event it's now a list of events right so i can say can you uh add five summer themed events and it should be able to structure that data in a list now and then split out each individual item so it's taking a little bit longer it's taking five events five items and it's now adding those to Airtable. 
and I can click on Airtable and I can see, oh, but where are my fields? Well, because we've now changed the output, we need to drag in the split out value rather than the AI agent value. So I can come here and I can say uh, name is the event title. And now that it turns green and it shows the preview of it, we know we're good. So I'll add event description. I'll add event start time and event end time. And now it's green, we can see everything is looking good. So now we can say, can you add five winter themed events? And it's gonna do the same operations, but now we have our data correctly structured so that the AI agent knows to um, parse it into a particular format and it's gonna split out the data. All right, so it's got our five pieces of data here. You can see it's output, the same output five times, right? So if I come back into our Airtable, you can see there's our five winter events, all right? So can you, we can, you know, can you, can you add 10, oops, can you add 10 more? And it'll have the context of the, of the, chat memory to say, okay, you probably want more winter events. And so it's going to create those for me. It's taking a little bit longer because it's double the number of events, but then it will very quickly start to add this to Airtable. All right, so it's generating all that content right now. And here it goes. It is splitting the data out into, all right, so there's our, our data here, so looking good. We've got 10 more winter events. Let's come back in here. Can you add uh, 15 fall themed events? And hopefully it's gonna, you know, do the same structured output where it's going to go and it's now creating those fall themed events based on my chat input using the AI agent, hitting all the AI nodes, doing the structured output, splitting out the content and there's my here's all my fall events currently being added we see we have fall harvest halloween thanksgiving apple picking etc so it seems to be working it's adding each event it's creating uh you know imaginary dates and times in the fall right you can see the months are adding up these are winter events these are fall events so it's doing a lot of the sort of heavy lifting thinking that um you know i, I don't have to do which is kind of interesting. So I, one more thing I'm noticing is that the dates are all in the past. What I can do is come back to my, my, uh, my flow here and click on my AI agent and I can say add option. We can add a system message. The default one is just you are a helpful assistant. I'll append this with a very simple expression and I'll click the expression here uh, after, but you, uh, let's see, we want to do like today is, and then we'll add an expression. So that it always has the up-to-date date of whenever I'm running this. So I can just hit, you know, the double, double brackets and then choose a variable here for now. And so that's always going to get the current date and time. And so we'll say, can you create, um, you know, eight summer themed events and it's going to go and create those based on today's date. And so hopefully, when it, when it hits Airtable, it's going to have the year 2025 in the output. All right, so there's my eight items. It's now creating them here. And it looks like it didn't actually get, it's not using today's date uh, properly. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened there. But, okay, what if we specify five fall events for this year? And perhaps it was not getting the full context that we were talking about the current year before. So we'll specify this year and see what it does. And it's still spitting those out. Okay, so it's added five at the bottom. That is 2025. And if I say five fall events for next year, it should, it should add them as 2026. So it's gonna run through and hopefully get this spit out. And yeah, it is working. So the now variable uh, is 
Working as expected. Perfect. All right, one more quick example to round it out here. Uh, imagine you get an email from one of your clients. They're saying, hey, Brendan, can you add some events for us? We're having our annual Halloween party at 8 p.m., Christmas party on the 15th. Last Saturday in June will be Summer Solstice Festival. Also a spring event. March 22nd and 28th, both at 3 p.m. So we have some specifications here in terms of times. And we have some things like last Saturday in June. So we'll see if the AI can grab that and put that into events for us. So I'll just copy and paste that, open the chat, paste that in. So hopefully the agent is able to parse some of this data that's not all quite in the same format. Uh, it's, you know, added things at the end here, just like a typical client might do. And so let's be here, see here, five items added. And we have our annual Halloween party at 8 p.m. Our two spring events at 3 p.m. And we have our summer solstice festival. So all working as intended. Um, so the way one of the things I, I did to set that up was to come up to the settings for this workflow and come up to settings and I changed it to my local time zone. So before that it was doing it in uh, UTC time. I wanted to basically have a way to hook up um, content generation to my Airtable so that I don't need to fill in all these fields automatically when I'm doing demos. I'll probably use the same thing on artists, venues and cities. So it'll just like, be able to generate content on the fly as I want. So that is kind of all I wanted to show you. It's a, it's a quick way to hook up uh, an AI source to your data structure, um, splitting things out, parsing things in lists, hopefully some, some interesting little tidbits in there. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm looking forward to making more videos and showing you guys how to automate stuff. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one.